This is a video about prescription drug prices. It's also a video about the drug companies and the system that lets drug companies be total jerks about prescription drug prices and how we fix that system so you and I aren't paying an arm and a leg for the medications we need. Here's one of those jerks. This guy ran a drug company that raised the price of a drug called Daraprim from $13.50 to $750 overnight. That's an increase of more than 5,000%. But the problem here isn't just that he hiked up the cost of a potentially life-saving drug. The problem is that we allowed him to do it and that we let a lot of other people do it too, as long as they run drug companies. Don't believe me? Years ago, one company once hiked up the price of an important HIV treatment drug by 400%, and they've kept it there for more than a decade. Another recently developed a cure for hepatitis C, but it costs $100,000 per treatment. How is this happening? Well, in America, when a pharmaceutical company develops a new drug, they get to have a monopoly on it. And when there's not enough competition, drug companies get to charge whatever they want, which is usually a lot. Which means if you need a certain drug, you could end up paying a ton of money for it. And that's a problem because there are people out there right now who need these critical medications, medications they simply can't afford. And there are even more people out there paying everything they've got just to survive. It's great for drug company profits, but it's a moral and economic nightmare for everyone else. So, how do we make it all stop? Well, we need to ensure there's more transparency and accountability across the board. What if we required drug companies to disclose what prices they've set for public programs like Medicaid and Medicare, and to reveal just how much went into making the drug in the first place? That would help us determine whether that 5,000% price increase is really covering the cost of research and development or just padding their company's coffers. We can call it the movement to stop drug companies from being really shady about drug prices. Or you can check out this website to get involved and help us think of a better name. Either way, people like him and the system that made him possible shouldn't get in the way of fair drug prices for all. Fair drug prices now.